Welcome back to First did, Coast Living. Said. Project Chance is transforming lives with service dogs, and today we well, have yeah, BJ I, and Melissa, and they yeah, have brought Perkins anyway. and Raven, and uh, First Coast News is actually sponsoring these dogs through our Techno Grant. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. And congrats on receiving the grant. That's thank awesome. You. So um, let's talk about really quickly about what you guys do exactly. I, I gave a little bit of a teaser, but for those who've never heard of Project Chance, tell us what you do. Absolutely. Project Chance is a local nonprofit based in Northeast Florida, and we pair service dogs with children on the autism spectrum. Um, that's our main focus is children on the autism spectrum because a dog can help them and ground them and sort of be their their lifeline to the social world and things right, around them. Right. Um, so we work with that. Mostly kids on the autism that's spectrum. That's wonderful. We have a few one-offs too. And so how do they help? Kind of go more into detail with that. Absolutely. So based each child, it's a spectrum. Each child is individual as to what their needs are. So right. we tailor the training to that child and family. It may be that they have movement issues so the dog can act as a counterbalance. It could be that they have social anxiety and issues and the dog will be their grounding force. Their, their compass when they're in a social setting. Yeah. It allows them to communicate and Hi, it provides baby. comfort for them as they get overwhelmed too. Oh my gosh, and they're so sweet. So how many dogs have you been able to pair? About 90 plus really? in the Northeast Florida area That's total. Wonderful. And we have around 10 therapy dogs in local schools. In schools. Oh my God, oh that's wonderful too. I didn't know about that yeah. part. And then let's talk about the difference between a therapy dog and a service dog, because I didn't really know hey the difference. Guys. Uh -huh. Sorry, I'm just gonna come in here. Everybody <laughs> knows that dogs are like my favorite thing ever. So I'm gonna kind of well, hang out. I know, and I feel like I can't reach, I'm too high. So tell us about that. A service so dog bad. is a medically prescribed treatment. So so for a service dog, they would visit their doctor and uh, psychologist, and they might get the order to have a service dog. Okay. And it's trained specific to that individual and family. Okay. And it has a job and a purpose. A therapy dog is trained in a more wide skill set and is used within a school for multiple children. It's kind of become somewhat of a mascot for mm -hmm. a school and the kids know if they need to comfort or to calm down they can go to their therapy dog but they do not have the same okay. prescription for a therapy dog okay as a service dog. okay that makes sense and so let's talk about the timeline then uh, that it takes to kind of go from start to finish of course um, about eight weeks in is when the children will come meet and choose their dogs they choose the dog based on their gender preference of the dog or personality there's no you know formula there <laughs> and they start the bonding right away they'll come and do some social visits starting at eight weeks and as they get older these dogs are six and a half months so they Aww. do day outings with their kids mm -hmm. they're not with them full time yet probably about 10 to 12 months they'll right. do a sleepover okay and start getting used to being with their family but by 18 months the dogs are usually full-time with their families <laughs> but we do continue to do training <laughs> sessions to make okay sure they're on track. and do folks need to apply and if so where do they go uh, projectchance.com we okay. have a website and we're also on facebook and they can go through there to seek out information and, we'll and pricing and that pricing. kind of thing yes okay yes. affordable well <laughs> or you work with them on that well, we work with them in terms of the length of time that it takes. Okay. Twelve is fourteen thousand. Okay. Okay. But if you if you think about you know they work twelve years. Right. In in general. And you break that down. You break that down. Okay. And maybe a lot of times they don't need the meds that they're on. I or see. We can drop off a provider. Okay. Or you know it enhances their lives right. to a degree where economically it's priceless. <laughs> well, thank you both so much for joining me today and for bringing uh, Raven and Perkins. I really appreciate it and for the work that you do as well. Thank you. All right. So if you're